Hello, welcome to YouTube, my name is Bob, like 5699 welcome to this like, Room Tour 2022 edition. Now, I did one of these at the end of 2020, and I never got around to doing another one in 2021 because I made my room into a tire clusterfuck. It was such a mess, you couldn't walk around in it at all. I had a shitty mattress that I was sleeping on for months, and it was just absolutely ridiculous. So I got my room sorted out. I bought me a couple of new things, set everything up, got a new bed finally, well the futon which I'll show you guys in a few in a little in a minute. And I just wanted to give you a room tour 2022 edition. Everything's set up. Everything's pretty much the same as it was uh, back when I first moved to this room in early 2020. So I've been in this room for about two years now. I used to have my room, like I said, when we first moved to this house, about it'll be four years this year. So this is the longest uh, we lived in a uh, lived in a house. So when we first moved into this house in August of 2018, my room was at the back of the house. And I moved out of there because I was uh, from, I was suffering from mental health and anxiety issues, and I was sleeping, uh, sleeping up early in the night with bad insomnia, and I took to one, got one point where I had the emergency room because I was having such a panic attack, and long story short, I was just not taking my medicines when I was supposed to because I didn't like the side effects and all that to do. But everything got back on track, and we went to another room, everything's pretty much the same except I now have a, a futon mattress, which I'll show you guys in just a second. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the room tour, so here we go. Alright, so this is what you see when you first walk in. Pretty much the same stuff. I had this closet over here. Was the door was open for like the past year, so we never closed because the table was in the way. So, but what was behind the door was this Birds of Prey poster movie. Mo Birds of Prey movie. If we go over here, we got a couple other things like we got the Space Jam New Legacy poster. Yes, I really like that movie. I know a couple of people saying, "Oh, it's the worst movie of 2021." I like the movie. I enjoy it. Yes, I do still not, still think LeBron James is a pussy ass crybaby bitch. Fight me. And on the side, we got. I took down my post uh, birthday wall board because um, a couple of people on there ended up blocking me on Facebook. Uh, long story short, a friend of mine from high school that I gave nothing but well wishes and respects for ended up block. Originally unfriended me on Facebook because because of uh, political disagreements. Apparently, I didn't agree with her on the 2020 election, so she ended up blocking me. And so I ended up telling you this is ridiculous. Let's just make up and all that. And ended up. Blocking me on Facebook because of political BS. So I said, you know what, fuck her. So I probably shouldn't be saying that, but you know, it's pretty pisses me off when you get when you get love and you, you send well wishes and make an entire video of having you and your viewers help you spread spread your word so you can go to college and have a good career. And that's what you get stabbed in the ass, stabbed in the back because of some little food bullshit. So that's really ridiculous. So I'm not gonna have nothing to do with that person whatsoever because she ends up posting. End up blocking me on Facebook. She does that, though she can cry forever because I'm not dealing with the high school drama shit anymore. But anyway, like I said, uh, birthday, uh, my birthday, 21st birthday was right there. I ended up taking it down because it was just ridiculous. And it's coming off the wall anyway because it's just hanging up with a nail and tape right there. So I'm going to take that up before it gets anybody. So put that over there. And we got a couple other things. And here we got the Star Vader poster. Uh, over here we got the Star Wars, Sonic the Hedgehog poster, uh, Sunset Boulevard. A Mission One movie, Star Wars, my high school, the plum plaque, and right here is my entire ar uh, arcade machine I got for Christmas of 2020. So really, really nice. I have played it a couple of times throughout the year, and just really good for uh, decorations and all that cool. Really nice to have an actual arcade machine in my room, so that's really cool. Uh, laundry hamper, closet, just not even cleaned out yet. Just give you a quick second on there. There's that, and there you go. Hope you enjoy the closet. So like I said, we got Hollywood over our large camera action. Got this fan below where my pieces of VHS is, and I know the table's a little bit dirty right now because uh, I put all my game systems. I got my Blu-ray player, PS2, Sega Genesis, Dreamcast. I finally got another game for my Dreamcast that should be coming tomorrow, so I'll have two games for the Dreamcast. Same TV, uh, Nintendo Switch, Steelbook Edition of Space Jam: A New Legacy with LeBron James, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Lola Bunny. Um, Nintendo Switch wallet and all that. Got my Sonic CD. I'll see you in Sonic the Hedgehogs. Um, Talk from my Nintendo Switch, and over here we got a picture of the bundle of sunshine. So you're in a lovely outfit I got from the Doki Doki Electric Club website or fans. But when I first, when I got it back in 2020, it was originally called the DDLCWebsite.com, and it went from four fans by fans out on this other website. And we got another one, Yuri, over here, and we got Vine Street, and we got a Sonic Mania poster I picked up at my game store, Rodale Drive. I want a Monica handing us a picture, hiding us a lyrics, and you, you can tell it's the lyrics from your reality, so I need to get a Natsuki picture. I can't believe Natsuki is my favorite girl, and I don't even have a picture of her on the wall. Like I said, Song of the Hedgehog poster, VIP, meeting Grace the Buck Cherry. Now, I was really disappointed, and this the second time I met Buck Cherry, 
And I'm going to go into the ladies because uh, the first time I met them in 2019 was the first time I ever had a real meet and greet experience. So I was really excited. All of the guys were really nice. I absolutely took pictures with the lead singer and all of them. Got a guitar pick and all that. Second time I met them, it's not really worth it. I had to spend it at the same price as them. Their new guitar player, I think his name is Billy Roll. And I was just really disappointed in the way he acted because I met him. All he just said, uh, he signed a picture and I said thank you. He just mumbled, mm hmm, walked away and shook my hand. And I didn't have any chance to say, talk, talk to him or whatever. So, new. Certainly, that really made me disappointed. I think about it with the time. And at the time I made with that, it was back in June, and there was another lady and her kid from the preview who was there in the previous VIP, and she literally got mad on the text saying the VIP was a waste of time. She would like a refund and all that. So if I would have thought about that at the time, I would probably ask for a full refund too, because I was extremely disappointed. They're actually going to be playing an hour away tomorrow, and then a couple times over, and I'm not going to do that. I probably won't be giving them more of my money because I'm extremely disappointed, both in the show and the VIP, especially with that new guitar player. I'm really disappointed that they really got a guy who just stands there and looks like he's in a shit foul mood. If I was famous for playing the guitar for a multi-million dark hair, I'll be in the hanging mood all the time. But what it is, what it is. Now, moving on to the stuff. This is my new futon. I'm really excited. I picked this up today. I had a 600, well I had over $700 last Friday. So I ended up buying a $75 shirt at Buckle. Uh, I got a couple of, I got Breath of the Wild and DVD out for 93 bucks at Best Buy. And I had about $350 left and I ended up buying the futon at, um, Walmart earlier today because I did uh, because the air ma the mattress I was sleeping on was so dirty and then it was clean. We had to take it out to the garage. I was sleeping on an air mattress on the floor. We had a recliner in the room that was sitting right there in the corner. We ended up throwing that out, so we got to take that to the dump or something. So I got a futon now, and I was sleeping on that air mattress in the middle of the room because we had nowhere else to put it. So uh, really, really uncomfortable. But now we got a futon, but this is a futon where you can always sleep. You don't want a futon is you can put make it a couch and then turn it into bed. This one's one of those home theater ones is actually memory foam, memory foam so that's probably going to help with sleeping a lot so we put it down and all that so it's kind of not kind of one of those wooden ones because so I had a futon back a couple years back back when we lived in another house uh, about five six years ago and it was kind of like wooden it had bars and all that but I just have a shelf right over there got my one liter of drink and all that so really really nice so it's got cup holders and we can put it down and all that so really cool so that's and we go back here turn it around and that is the VIP, yeah, uh, yeah, and that is the um, room tour. Well, well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I've been in this room for about two years now. I moved in here in early in early 2020. I think it'll be two years in this room this year. I can't believe we're already in the 2022. It felt like not even like three or four months ago I was talking around this time last year about Honey Pop 2 coming out. So we're going to believe February is going to be the one year anniversary of Honey Pop 2. It was absolutely crazy at that time flew. Uh, but like I said, really cool. And in case you're wondering where all my stuff is, I put that back there just so I can have some space and all that. So, like I said, that's pretty much it for this room tour. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.